Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Addressing a gathering at Kokrajar Greenfield, BGP National President credited the growth and development of Northeast to Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Home Minister Amit Shah. He said that the development of Northeast began with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He stated that the Bodo Peace Accord was signed, which paved the way for peace and development in the Bodo Territorial Region or BTR area after decades of unrest. He stated that the strong decisions taken by PM and Amit Shah brought peace in the region. He slammed the opposition for neglecting the Northeast for decades. Congress had isolated the Northeast from the rest of the country. He credited the significant improvement in connectivity of the region to Prime Minister Modi. TMC's candidate Gauri Shankar Saranya filed nomination on Thursday for the Kokrajar Tribal Lok Sabha constituency No. 1 ahead of the third phase scheduled for May 7th. Prior to filing the nomination, supporters of TMC gathered for a rally which started from Gorangat in Kokrajar town. The rally was attended by thousands. President of Sam Pradesh Trinamul Congress Committee Ripun Bora joined the rally, underscoring the party's united front in support of Saranya's bid for the Lok Sabha seat. The Meghalaya Human Rights Commission, MHRC, on Thursday have seek report from the state government pertaining to the incident in which bodies of three men from Assam found charred and buried in unmarked graves in East Gar Hills on Wednesday. In a notification, the State Human Rights Commission have directed the Director General of Police, Meghalaya, to submit an action taken report or ATR, a detailed report within one month. It may be mentioned two young men from Assam, along with their hired driver, have been found murdered. Their bodies burned beyond recognition and buried in two shallow graves in the Rongmil area, 15 kilometers from Rongjeng in East Karo Hills. All eyes are set on the Lakhimpur Lok Sabha seat, where the Congress is targeting to win back its old bastion from the BJP, which will go to polls on Friday in the first phase elections. Lakhimpur, which was traditionally a Congress bastion, the party has been trying hard to return back to their seat. The Congress has fielded Uday Shankar Hazarika, a former BJP leader who switched sides to the Congress in 2023 against BJP MP Pradhan Barwa, a seasoned politician who has won the seat twice in a row. Congress held a strong foothold in Lakhimpur, winning the Lok Sabha seat 7 out of 13 times since 1967. The constituency has witnessed a shift in political dynamics in recent years with BJP emerging victorious in the last three consecutive elections. In a significant verdict, Guwahati High Court has pronounced Naba Kumar Saranya eligible to contest the Lok Sabha elections from Kokrajar constituency. Naba Kumar Saranya has been facing legal challenges over the authenticity of his case certificate. Saranya's tribal identity card poses a serious blow to his political ambitions in the district. Guwahati High Court advocate General Devajit Yan Saikya has reacted on the judgment. He said that today a landmark judgment was passed by the Guwahati High Court. Thank you for listening to our podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mithela. Hub